21,614. Clear cut. Case break. All right, let's hope this is a monster. We, that's not a bad start. A rookie auto for Montreal of Jack Eye. Again, in terms of name power, it's a solid start. Definitely one of the better base rookies you can get. I'm hoping he turns out pretty good. Again, Montreal and their fan base is always uh, absolutely phenomenal. So I really, really hope. We've got a Champs Auto of Fortier for Tampa. Fortier. Let's hope this is one of the stack cases. What was the... I can't remember, was it the last case I opened that was a stack case and the case before that was a really bad one? Or was it the opposite way? We've got for Seattle, Cali Arncroak. Seattle base auto. Does anyone remember which one it was? I remember the one we had like nine numbered cards come out of it and I was like, what the heck? Why couldn't they have, why couldn't they have separated this in two cases? <laughs> it's too funny. We've got a base auto, Brock Nelson for the Islanders. Brock Nelson. But yeah, I definitely feel like this year's uh, certain products, you can tell some cases are loaded and the other ones are like less. And I don't know why, but let's see. That's sick. A tribute. Young Gun could be one of the rare ones. I don't know. Luke Robetai for the L.A. Kings. Luke Robetai. I'm hoping that's a, like an SSP or something. That could be pretty sweet. Congrats to L.A. on that one. Lucky Luke. That's sick. Does anyone mind looking up the odds on that one by chance? We've got a Seattle again, Mason Appleton. Mason Appleton, Champs Auto. I don't know if any of you guys are in the room looking at the checklist, but that is always appreciated so I kind of have a gauge of, is that one of the biggest cards in the case? Could that be the case and if it's an SSP? Yeah, we got a legend one of these. Ken Morrow for the Islanders. Ken Morrow. Champs Auto. All right, all right. I'm hoping we get a little better than this. It's been kind of a little bit of a slow case so far, but saw like some solid ones. That's a decent name ish. We've got a base auto of Paterka for Buffalo. Paterka. One in 180 for the Luke. Okay, so that's one in every... Wow, my math in my head's uh, tough. Was that 12 cases? Is that correct? One in every 12 cases for that one? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That could be, sadly, the, uh, the case. I could see them doing that, but... Number 89, Canvas Auto, Alex Tuck. Buffalo Sabres, Alex Tuck. That's cool. 
All right, canvas auto, never bad to get one of those. We've got a rookie auto of Blue Mel for Dallas. The one thing I can observe that I've noticed is they, I, I feel like they definitely printed a lot more of this year's clear cut. Because you see a lot more of the, the, the base autos, but obviously it is for both years, so it makes sense logically, but I feel like the bigger hits are far and few between. That's a good one. Clear cut stoppers to 99 of Saros. Saros to 99 for the Preds. Four left, I think. Four left, folks. We've got a rookie auto of Pustanen for Pittsburgh. Valtteri Pustanen. And also, quick FYI, guys, I have no problems. Uh, again, sometimes I've seen it work. Sometimes it's literally completely irrelevant. It's posting the other case. If you guys think this one was garbage. We've got a New Jersey Devils. That looks like it got run over that uh, holder. Okachuk. Nikita Okachuk. That one definitely went through some roller marks there. Which it shouldn't have. I don't even know why there'd be roller marks on that one. Two more, come on baby, let's get something cool. We need something a little bigger than the canvas and the uh, Luke. Uh, I don't know, he might be a rare one, so if someone doesn't mind looking this one up. A base auto, Pat LaFontaine. LaFontaine for the Islanders, base auto. He could be a, a rare one, potentially. All right, one in 20, so on average, not one per case, but close to one per master. So thank you, Floor, by the way, for giving me the updates on that. I do appreciate it. And we've got a base rookie auto of Noah Cates for Philly. There she goes. 